rebuild procedures for the Holland FW17 fifth wheel. Note, this rebuild procedure applies to second generation FW17 top plates only. Please refer to the FW17 rebuild literature for first generation procedures. Preparing and inspecting the top plate. Begin by removing the top plate from the mounting base. Remove the bracket pin retention bolts from both sides of the fifth wheel top plate and discard. Using a pry bar, pull the bracket pins out of the fifth wheel top plate and set aside. Using a lifting device capable of lifting 500 pounds, remove the top plate from the mounting base and place it on a flat, clean working area or rebuild stand. Note. Follow the instructions published by the lifting device manufacturer for proper operation of the lifting device. Next, completely remove and discard all components. Important, do not remove the pocket inserts unless they are cracked or worn. Important, rebuild kits contain all components necessary to completely rebuild the fifth wheel top plate. Do not reuse old parts. Note. Lock pin and adjustment pin could be difficult to dislodge and could require force to remove. Caution: Do not hit steel parts with a steel hammer as parts could break, sending steel fragments flying in any direction, creating a hazard which, if not avoided, could result in minor to moderate injury. Once all of the parts have been removed, thoroughly steam clean the top plate. Inspect the fifth wheel top plate for cracks and flatness. Fifth wheels with cracks must be replaced. If the lock pin hole, adjusting pin hole, or bracket pin holes are elongated, the top plate must be replaced. Note: The maximum allowable lock pin hole diameter is 1.429 inches. The maximum allowable adjusting pin hole diameters are 1.672 inches at the top and 1.172 inches at the bottom. Warning: Failure to replace fifth wheels with cracks elongated lock pin holes or elongated adjusting pin holes could result in tractor trailer separation which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. Front Lock Insert Installation Start with the top plate right side up on a flat, clean work area or rebuild stand. Install the low head socket cap screw that will later be used to secure the position of the adjusting pin. Torque to 11 to 13 foot-pounds. Rotate the front lock insert into the detent in the top plate. Secure with the insert keeper and a low head socket cap screw. Torque to 11 to 13 foot-pounds. Hook and lock installation. Begin by lubricating both large holes of the cam plate with never seize. Also, lubricate the cam track slot perimeter with grease. Feed the hook pin into the pivot hole in the cam. Be sure to orient the head of the hook pin toward the casting. Mount the hook onto the hook pin as shown. Then maneuver the hook into position under the shelf of the casting and align the large hole in the hook with the hole in the casting. Next, position the lock so the holes line up with the hole in the casting. Lubricate the adjusting pin, lock pin, and lock. Insert the adjusting pin from the top face of the fifth wheel so that it lines up with the first adjustment notch. Install a 1 and 1 8 inch diameter retaining ring to secure the adjusting pin. Then, install a 1 and 3 8 inch diameter retaining ring to secure the lock pin. Lastly, secure the hook pin with a 3 quarter inch diameter retaining ring as shown. Cam Track Roller Installation Maneuver the cam so that the cam track slot is over the tapped boss of the casting. Lubricate the shoulder only of the M12 by 1.75 mm shoulder bolt with never seize. Place a 5 8 inch ID by 2 and 5 8 inch OD washer and the cam roller onto the shoulder bolt. Also, make sure the rounded edges of the washer are facing down toward the cam plate. Secure the assembly by installing the shoulder bolt through the cam track slot and into the tapped boss of the casting. Torque the bolt to 40 to 50 foot-pounds. 
Release Handle Installation. Begin by installing the S-Bend through the end of the cam plate as shown, with the S-Bend facing toward the top plate. Now, secure the handle window bracket to the top plate using two M10 by 1.5 by 18 mm hex head cap screws. Torque the screws to 20 to 25 foot-pounds. Spring installation. Locate the handle extension springs, which have a smaller diameter spring inside of a larger diameter spring. Hook one end of the handle extension springs onto the fifth wheel top plate and the other end to the handle as shown here. Next, connect one end of the cam extension spring into the last hole of the cam plate and the other end to the fifth wheel top plate. Ensure the spring hook end opening attached to the cam faces away from the fifth wheel top plate. Lastly, install the lock extension spring by hooking one end to the hole on the lock and the other end to the fifth wheel top plate. Again, ensure the spring hook end opening attached to the lock faces away from the fifth wheel top plate. The Holland FW17 Gen 2 rebuild procedure is now complete.